first of all, where's the glorious mus mus mustache? You have a beer now. Uh, it's hiding right now. Uh, uh, it's going to wait till probably weigh-ins or maybe the day of the fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, I'll cut all this off and bring it out. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, now it's, it's bigger than me. So, <laughs> so now I got to have it. Even though I wanted to cut it, I can't. <laughs> What's the secret for having such a glorious mustache? Um, well, you just got to... <laughs> That's a good question. You got you to comb it. You got to comb it at least a couple times a day to keep it going in the same direction. Uh, that way it will promote good growth. And um, actually, I just bat a little cheese on there, and it kind of just helps absorb it and like help it grow. <laughs> when was the last time that you shaved it? Uh, let me see. I was clean shaved probably about eight weeks ago. Yeah. It grows fast. Yeah, it grows pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. uh, be 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 before we, we talk about your fights, uh, you, you became a topic last week about the GoFundMe uh, that you just had to, to bring your corners here to Brazil. Tell, tell, tell us the story about, uh, behind it. When, when did you realize you would need that to have your corners here with you? Uh, it was, happened probably uh, Monday night. Um, basically, we had, a, we, we had a kind of a sponsor, a guy, a donor, who was going to donate money. And um, at the last minute, he kind of pulled that money. So that money that we, we, know we, we were planning on having wasn't there. And, you know, um, credit card. <laughs> and we were, came up with ideas like, oh, okay, we uh, put it on a credit card. Well... Flights were pretty expensive for the amount we needed, so um, like, okay, I'll put it on my private Facebook for like friends, family, you know, whatever acquaintances that will support the cause. Um, when I posted it, I accidentally made it a public post, and so I went to bed that night. I made it at like 11:30 at night, went to sleep, woke up the next day, and saw it on you know bloody elbow MMA junk. I'm like, whoa, how did this happen? But uh, so then I was a little, little nervous because I didn't want to brand it as you know, like I didn't want to brand the UFC in the wrong way because you know. I signed the fight, come over here, and we had the money figured out, and then it kind of dropped last minute. So, like, so it was literally, you know, last week when I had to get come up with, with the funds. Um, but it turned out, you know, we got one guy who donated like $3,500 to Rob Strauss. It was awesome. Um, but then it was enough to turn around that um, going to turn around and uh, donate a bunch of money back into, uh, you know, Wounded Warriors or another veteran organization. Rob Strauss, did, did you know him before that? Or? I had, had no idea what he, once he, I emailed him back and forth a little bit, you know, he's a, he's an army vet like myself, and, you know, he has, he's like, he likes helping out where he can, and he thought that, he, you know, wished me luck and wanted to see my team down here. You know. yeah. What if you, you, you didn't have the money, would you just come with, with one corner? Yeah, I would have just came with uh, uh, less corners, and uh, the money that I would have earned would have just turned around and gave it away. Yeah. How how good it is to have your corners here uh, to, to to prepare for 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 this fight? It's a uh, every fighter knows and every fan who follows like uh, fighters are you know creatures of habit. Um, it's a comfortability thing you know just going through having your all your corners here like you know you got one corner here is for grappling, other ones for you know holding mitts. You know you got the head coach here too. And just having all of them here and it just it's a good process to have rather than nothing not feeling right by not having everything here <laughs> did, did anyone from from the UFC reach out to you about it they go they, they go fund me or the, the money situation no nope, no nope, I haven't heard anything back from them at all um, you know just uh, you know things worked out the way they did uh, haven't heard any bad backlash haven't had any good backlash just you know um, uh, just want to make sure that I, like I got out that it was like it was accidentally public <laughs> Was it supposed to go go to everyone to see it and um, making sure that uh, you know I give back what I got? You're fighting on main card on a Fox Sports One card. Are you surprised that your your sponsors, the guy that they helped you, didn't show up this time? Uh, it was a nice surprise. Um, I thought at minimum I'd been on like uh, the televised prelims, you know, with uh, being 15 and Marcelo having such a good. He's got a got a little buzz about him. He's you know super athletic, explosive. Um, so I think. Uh, yeah, him as a opponent helped me out a lot because you know they're kind of priming him up a little bit too. So, Marcelo, speaking of Marcelo, he had a great debut uh, in November. Were you impressed by by anything is his style in his watch in his fights? Uh, he's, he's got really fast hands, um, you know, and he'll have that as a lighter heavyweight. I think he probably walks around at like 240. Um, so that's kind of a what really impressed me. What's kind of nice is he, he's a move forward fighter, um, which. It's kind of nice. It'll be interesting to see how, how we meet in the middle because, uh, you know, I'm 
move forward is the way that I'd like to, and he doesn't back up at all. So it, it'll be interesting to see who, uh, what, what rakes first, water or stone. <laughs> You've been bossing between wins and losses since you signed with, with, with the UFC. What has changed in training and mindset to, to stop that and get a, get a win streak going? Um, with training, it's just it's been the same. Just keep grinding on it. Um, been going out to uh, Extreme Couture in Vegas a little bit more, uh, a little more input from outside sources, and just kind of continue trying to grow a little bit here and there every fight. I saw that, that, that you trained with Roy Nelson. Uh, who, do you think he's going to win this Grand Prix in Bellator? Um, I think it's out of the, everything in Bellator, the whole tournament. I think the toughest fight is going to be him versus Mincheron. This is going to be the toughest fight of the tournament for him, um, and maybe the toughest fight in the whole tournament. Actually, um, you know they fought once before, so and you know Roy won that. Uh, so, but you can't ever, you know, it's a fight. Fights goes back and forth all the time. How many times people fight each other and it goes back and forth? So, but I think Roy's going to be going to take it again. Uh, not taking away from Matt, but. It just, you know, on top of him being a friend of mine, it's just, I think it's, he's gonna, he, I know how he's been training, I think he's gonna be able to take it. Do you think whoever wins that fight is gonna win the tournament? And Matt's and Roy? Yeah, I think whoever wins this fight has probably the best chance of winning the tournament.